Blanchardstown, the local brass band has been in existence for 182 years. The members practice together regularly and range in age from 12 to a robust 87. We've been to see them perform and hear a little about their history. Blanchetown Brass Band, or St. Bridges Brass and Reed Band as it was then known, was founded in 1826 and has been in existence ever since. In fact, we can trace our history back to records at that time. In the 1970s, we changed the name of the band to the Blanchetown Brass Band in keeping with the change we had in musical instruments, going from a brass and reed band to a purely brass band. We were very proud of our tradition here in the Blanchetown Brass Band. And we have a number of photographs here in the wall which depict our history down through the years, going back to the 1930s and up to fairly recent times. We can date our history back to 1924 and 1925, pictures of the band in the Blanchestown area at the time. And here where we marked our 150th anniversary, this photograph was taken in the old centre in Mill Road and shows the then members of the band. One of the photographs that were, let's say we've been well associated with was Dublin Castle and this was one in May 1973 when the then president Eamon de Valera attended for what was his final engagement. He retired a number of days after this photograph was taken. I joined the band in 1944, and I said I've been in it ever since. I enjoyed it thoroughly. I really look forward to the practice on Thursday night. I look forward to the outings, heading off and bring a flask with you, an old sandwich there, and have a picnic on the way back. It's great fun, you know. Joe joined the band a couple of weeks after me, and we learned a lot of marches. You're not a, a musician overnight. It takes maybe two or three years before you can be able to play right, you know. My name's Avril. I play cornet. I've been in the band for about 18 years now. I joined when I was nine years old, so it's a good family atmosphere. We have a joke and a chat at practices, and we have fun at the jobs as well that we play at. And then there's two uh, junior classes at the moment. Um, my niece and nephew are actually in one of them. Kids or adults, people who can play, people who can't, anybody who wants to is welcome to join. At Paddy's Day we always went out for a route march around the whole village. Christmas Day we used to go up and play a few carols in the church and then go for a route march. <laughs> We currently have about 25, 26 members who are available to come out and play different engagements with us, like the one we have today here in Farmley. We tend to focus on jobs primarily in the Blanchestown, the Greater Blanchestown area. This one in Farmley is one that we're particularly pleased to be associated with. It's one that we've been doing for a number of years now since the, uh, the estate here was taken into government ownership. We were here actually on the opening day when we played in the wall garden here behind us. We would play here maybe twice a year on afternoons like this where you have a country market in place and we provide the musical background that you'll hear. Audience reaction is great, like it, it really boosts the morale of the people when you get a crowd that will listen to you and, and appreciate the selection of music that we play. And it's always a, a great source of enjoyment for us when we see that people are enjoying the selection that we play and you even sometimes see them dancing and singing along with us which is always great. quite lucky today in that we had our friends from Carrick Macross with us and we were also supported then by the Newtown Silver Band who came over from Wales for this weekend and provided an excellent afternoon's entertainment for the people who came here to Farmley. Absolutely fabulous, what a fabulous place this is, uh, unbelievable and uh, you could spend a day here and really enjoy yourself couldn't you, you know and, 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 the, and again the, the audience here were absolutely great. Uh, it's just like a family um, and there are lots of families in, in the brass band, in, in our band alone we have five members in one family, four members in another family and we are like one happy family to be honest with you and, and every brass band you meet they all seem to be the same, They're all, they've all got their own families in the band and they are like one big happy family and when you meet another band the camaraderie is absolutely fantastic. It's absolutely super pastoral, I'd recommend it strongly to anyone to get involved in music particularly in the brass band. <laughs> 